All right, first ammo test to the Juggernaut box. This is a new little bit of a system I've designed here. Basically what this is is a little bit of a shelf that I can shoot from arm's length, and I'm not gonna lose the bullet out the side because it will hit the sides of the box. And I can retain that bullet. Also, I wanna test out a new ballistic medium. This is three and, or one and three quarters inch of bologna, four layers of denim, three eighths inch particle board on the back, and we'll shoot through that into the water jugs, see what we get for bullets expansion and all that first rounds i'm going to test are the monarch 38 special and nine millimeter and today i'm going to run them through the nine millimeter ruger security nine the uh, 686 four inch barrel and the 1.875 five inch j frame through the chronograph and we'll run through some water jugs and see what we get for ballistics for expansion all of that so let's get started and by the way the nine millimeter is 124 grain the 38 special is 158 grain Rate on the box for velocity for the 9mm is 1124 feet per second. So let's see how close we can get to 1124 feet per second out of this 4 inch barrel. Ten fifty three. 10.53. 10.47. 10.35. 10.53. 10.24. So... That last shot is 100 feet per second below listed velocity. So let's see what we get with the uh, 38 Special. A 38 Special through the 4 inch. On the box it's rated at 902 feet per second. Let's see what we get out of the 4 inch. 826. 843. 816. So close to 100 feet per second loss out of even a 4 inch barrel. Let's see how it does to the snub nose. Do the snub, snub nose, let's see what we get. 719. 715. 740. 729. 709. So close to 200 feet per second velocity lost uh, out of the snub nose barrel. It's not looking too good for this ammo yet, but we'll run it through the ballistic box here and see what kind of expansion we get and where we catch it. And by the way, if I can catch a bullet, generally in about uh, three to five jugs, generally that's pretty much standard for good, reliable uh, um, ammunition. If it's less than three jugs or if it passes through all six, generally that's going to be a failure on the part of the ammunition. So let's see what we actually get uh, through the ballistic box, through water jugs and through the meat target. Right, here's the 9mm Monarch. Let's see what we get through the meat and through the water jugs. It's in jug three, actually. Wasn't expecting that. We actually got what I would consider pretty good performance. Jug three, uh, not over penetration. It expanded through that three eighths inch uh, particle board. No problems. And it looks pretty good. So let's try the 38 special from the four inch barrel and see how that does. By the way, here's the particle board, here's the entrance, and here's the exit. And what I'm trying to do here is kind of simulate um, sternum. However, if I went half inch, which should be right, that, that only stimulates a direct sternum hit. If you miss ribs, it'd be a lot less. So I'm kind of trying to split the difference between what sternum um, representation I have. And 3 8 inch, I feel like, is kind of in the middle. So that's what I get with that, with the 9 millimeter. Right, here's the Monarch 38 Special through the 4 inch barrel. See what we get. 10. All right, through the meat target, still intact. Looks like a clean hole. Doesn't look like it did much damage to the baloney. Um, but we'll see what it did, did to water jugs. Jug 1, pretty good damage on jug 1, not as much as the 9mm. 
Jug two, still getting pretty good damage. Jug three, it's like we went through that one. Passed through four. And we got the bullet actually in jug five, which is kind of surprising. I would have thought that uh, it would have went through all of them. And here's what we got, the 38 Special, and actually that's not really a whole lot different than something like Winchester White Box, Jacketed Hollow Point, Super X Jacketed Hollow Point for 158 grains. So actually that's not bad, that's not bad for the slow velocity we're getting. So see how the uh, 38 Special does through the snub nose. All right, here's the Monarch 38 Special 158 grain through the snub nose. I'm going to reuse that same bologna pack, hit a little bit higher, see what it does. Pretty much the exact same thing that we saw through the 4 inch barrel. Here is the 4 inch, here is the snub nose off the back of that particle board. One, went right through. Two, clean pass through. Three is a clean pass through. And we got four. And somehow we actually have more expansion with the snub nose than the 4 inch, which is very interesting. That is pretty cool. I'm going to test these for accuracy and see what kind of uh, little groups we get on paper um, from 7 yards. Alright, we'll go for accuracy from 7 yards. Have a few white uh, pieces of tape up there just to go for particular areas. Keep in mind I'm exhausted. Had to manually move everything out here today, so my groups may not represent the total accuracy of this ammunition, but I'll try my best. Go for the white spot there on the left. All right. Not trying my best, and with frostbitten hands almost, I'd say that's not too bad. Let's see how the 4 inch barrel does with the 38 Special. All right, 4 inch barrel, 7 yards. We'll go for the one piece of tape in the middle there. All right, point of impact is a little bit high, but it's not, not enough to really worry about. Seven yards, closer to eight yards, actually, not bad. So we'll see how the snub nose does, and maybe this will be a better point of aim for that snub nose. It usually suits kind of, kind of a low. We'll see. All right, snub nose, I'll go right for the middle of that tape there, see how it does. bigger group which is to be expected with a gun like this but overall pretty good pretty much point of aim point of impact so overall overall this ammunition kind of surprises me when I saw the velocity I wasn't hopeful but the performance overall seems pretty good pretty good overall there it's hitting accurately point of aim point of impact it's not going too much over over penetration it's expanding very well at least decent and and all of these uh, different calibers so I would say overall it's good and I understand why somebody would want to use Monarch ammo if you can take your your plinker ammo cost $12.99 for the 9mm $16.99 for the 38 special for 50 round boxes and you can shoot that as your plinker ammo as your target ammo practice ammo and you can also use that as your defensive ammo there's a huge um, a huge uh, benefit to that and I understand that completely so Overall, I would say this ammo is doing pretty good. So that's what you get today at the Monarch 38 Special through the two different barrel lengths and the 9mm. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching.